essential tremor is a disorder that affects an estimated 10 million people in the U.S., causing a person's hands to shake involuntarily, affecting their speech. It makes it extremely difficult to do tasks as simple as drinking water, eating food, or writing on a piece of paper. Our next guest has been afflicted by essential tremor for over a decade as she underwent a groundbreaking new procedure. Let's have a look. My name is Jody Meyer. I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I've had an essential tremor for 18 years. Essential tremors come from a nervous system disorder, most commonly diagnosed in people over 40. For Wisconsin native Jody Meyer, it happened when she was only 16 years old. While prescription medications exist, they were not effective for Jody. Despite her tremor, the single mom has been able to lead a very full life, managing a career while raising three young children. But it hasn't always been easy. The essential tremor is becoming very, very difficult as far as preparing meals for my children, putting on my daughter's makeup for her cheer competitions, pouring them a glass of milk. I struggle with that every day. In July of 2016, the FDA approved a new non-invasive procedure to treat essential tremor, which Jody was eager to try. I'm very excited for the narrow five treatments. For 18 years, I've been praying for some kind of relief. Using MRI technology, the doctors are able to target the part of the brain causing the tremor. Then, using ultrasound, they heat and destroy those cells. If successful, there is an immediate reduction of the tremor on one side of the body. After my procedure, being able to paint my daughter's nails without assistance would be wonderful. And it's also going to give hope for others that are out there that they don't we're joined now by jody whose tremor has improved on one side of her body but she still struggles with a hand and vocal tremor we're also joined now by radiologist dr dan sperling who partnered with neurosurgeon dr travis tierney to provide this procedure for jody Thank you both for being here. And Jody, thank you so much for sharing your story with our viewers. If you can, can, can you talk a little bit about how after having this procedure, how that has changed your life? Um, it's given me more self-confidence, self-esteem back to me. It's something with tremors that you lose. Um, I'm able to complete tasks for my children um, without always needing their help. Um, I'm able to write again, which I haven't been able to do for 18 years. Wow, and I understand your daughter is a cheerleader and you have an exciting milestone coming up for her. She's um, actually in cheer competition. She's going to be performing at the Green Bay Packers Family Night out on Lambeau Field. And Jody, you're playing a role in that now because yes. you have... Um, before it was very difficult for me to put makeup on her and now it's a lot easier with my hand not shaking. So so wow. right now that's amazing that you're gonna be able to do makeup and we understand even the nighttime routine now, everything has changed. Yes. Um I mean, I used to rely on my children quite a bit for simple tasks such as pouring milk at dinner time, but I'm able to pour them up without spilling. That's so wonderful. Awesome. I think what's amazing about this procedure is how quickly you can see results, Dr. Sperling. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible. We're able to uh, bring the patient into the MRI. We can actually localize where the tremor is occurring with the MRI images. Um, the patient's awake the whole time. They're comfortable. You can talk to them. They can draw circles, and you can see how their hands are actually becoming more steady as we progress. Uh, they hold out their hand. You can see the shaking decrease. And by the end of the procedure, right after you're done, uh, you see tremendous control of the tremor symptoms. So you get immediate resolution. And Dr. Sperling, I understand that right now you're only doing one side. Tell us a little bit about why you only do one side at a time. There is an old surgical thalamotomy that was done many years ago, and that actually caused uh, side effects when you went on both sides of the brain. It caused problems with speech, problems with balance, and sensory uh, problems as well. 
So right now it's FDA approved and only used for one side of the brain. And we feel that's a safe way to, uh, to do this. Do you foresee in the future being able to do the other side for Jody? Absolutely. We have a lot of hope that that could be available in the future. Well, Jody, I think what you said in the tape piece and what you said to me about how coming here, you just really want to let people know there's hope yes. and raise awareness of this yes. and raise awareness of this new treatment. I think this is so commendable and I'm so glad you're doing so much better yes. at that time with your children. And I know your sister Jennifer is here. What what are your thoughts, Jennifer, seeing your, your sister up here and the progress she's made? It's so amazing to see how um, she has gained her self-confidence back. She's able to do her daily tasks uh, to serve her children um, and to see her not struggle anymore. It's brought a lot of joy back to her life. Well, we are so happy, Joey, that you're able to get this seated down and share with us. That's really to you and Dr. Kim, keep up the great work. Really impressive stuff. And I think it also highlights a lot of people don't understand essential tremor. And I, I thank you for raising awareness because there's so much misunderstanding out there. And so hopefully those of you now watching understand and those of you who may suffer from something like this, there's there's hope for you. More to come. Coming up, exercising during pregnancy can